Hello everybody, welcome to the channel SRS. This is Sumit Roy and we are studying analog electronics, negative feedback amplifiers and that current series feedback. Uh, we have already discussed about the input impedance, effect of input impedance, effect in the input impedance due to current series feedback and now we will discuss output impedance or effect of current series feedback on the output impedance. Okay, as we can see that I have drawn uh, the diagram that we have discussed and uh, the detailed diagram of A here. Okay, as we are discussing output impedance, so uh, there are two things uh, that is has to be uh, always been considered whenever output impedance is considered. That is, first one is RL should be taken as infinity and second one is VS should be taken as zero. Uh, so, if we implement both these things over here, then RL is infinity and VS is 0. Okay, so the effect will be directly over um, on VS that is as uh, A is uh, given as I0 upon VI and beta is given as VF upon I0 and earlier VI is equal to VS minus VF. So, if V s equal to 0, then V i equal to minus V f. This is the condition we will follow. Another thing that is i naught, current i naught means that is uh, uh, output current. So, I will take, I am taking it as here in this direction that is i naught is in this direction. Let it be it is flowing in this uh, part, but whatever i naught I am taking in this direction can be taken as the output because ultimately uh, RL will be joined later on. For this instance, we are taking RL as infinity. So, I0 can be in this direction or in this direction. For this instance, we are taking I0 here. Okay, so this is all. And what about Z0? Z0 is, I'll tell you what is Z0. This is V0. Okay, I'll use another color pen. That is, this is V0 that is available between two nodes here, and I0 is the current. So, this is ZOF. So, ZOF I will write it as ZOF equal to V0 upon I0. This is what we have to derive mathematically. Okay. So, we will start. We will start with KCL only. So, I0 can be written as in two parts that is this and this part. So, I0 can be written as A into VI that is a current source uh, dependent of course and plus this is Z0, so V0 upon Z0, I will write it as I0, means uh, not I0, I1 or I2, whatever be the current, that is voltage is there, the impedance is there, V0 upon Z0. So, V0 and I0 are required, so V0 and I0 are required, whatever has to be done is then has to be written to VI. So, I0 equal to A into VI, uh, VI can be uh, written as or VI, V0, there are all lot of stuff here. So, accordingly, uh, we will uh, write what is the nearest one or least uh, number of steps are required. So, A into VI is uh, can be written as C. Uh, VI is already after doing the simplification, what we are having is VI, if VS is equal to 0, then VI equal to minus VF. So, it is minus VF plus V0 upon Z0. So, I0 equal to minus AVF. Now, VF can be written as beta into I0 plus V0 upon Z0. So, it can be written as I0 1 plus A beta equal to V0 upon Z0. And similarly, if it is carried out, that is Z0 1 plus A beta is V0 upon I0 and that is equal to ZOF and that is what is required that is ZOF is equal to Z0 into 1 plus A beta that means the output impedance is increasing with the voltage with current series feedback so we come down to the conclusion that is in current series feedback ZIF is equal to ZI into 1 plus A beta and ZOF equal to Z0 
into 1 plus a beta. That is in both the case with feedback impedances are increasing input and output. That is it. So, next we will meet for uh, current shunt feedback. Voltage series is over, voltage shunt, current series is over and that will be uh, current shunt. We will do the detailed derivation. If there is any doubt, then please leave the com in the comment box and uh, I will try to answer all of them as far as possible. Thank you and if uh, you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you.